Listening thirty six. Listen and read. An eco home. Martin Harris and his family live in an interesting house. It's an eco home. Eco homes don't harm the environment. They use alternative energy. They don't use fossil fuels like coal or oil, so they don't use up the planet's resources or produce dangerous gases. The eco home is in a hill in Wales, UK. It looks like a house in a film. Half of the house is underground. Martin and his family started to build the house in March and moved in at the end of July. The house was very cheap to build. It has wooden beams and wooden floors. It has stone and mud walls, and it has a skylight in the roof. There are solar panels on the roof to make electricity for the lights, CD player, and computer. The family gets water from a spring, and they burn wood to heat the house. Martin and his wife Lara were working in a forest when they decided to build their eco home. They wanted somewhere to live while they were working, and they wanted to save energy. They thought their old house in the town was boring, because it was the same as everyone else's house. They wanted to live somewhere different, and they liked the idea of living close to nature. Now they don't want to live anywhere else. Martin's family loves their home because it helps the planet and it looks amazing. They think that eco homes are a great idea for everyone. Listening thirty-seven. Listen. Who is talking? Today we're talking about how we can all help the environment. Tim Harris is in the studio with us to tell us about how he helps the planet. Tim and his family live in an eco home. Do you like your house, Tim? I love it. It's a really cool house. My friends love it too. They always want to come and visit. That's great. Now, do you burn wood to heat your house? Yes, we do. My brother and I go out to get wood every morning. Our house is in a forest, so there is a lot of wood near us. But we never cut wood from the trees. We find wood on the ground and take it home. That's good. Where does your water come from? It comes from a spring near our house. I see. Do you go to the spring every day too? No, the water comes from the spring to our house. We save rainwater too. We use rainwater to water the plants in the garden and to clean the house. Really, that's interesting. Now, Tim, can you tell us about some?